Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I just asked a- we're gonna play Eden here. I just asked on Twitter, and if you don't have Twitter, I mean, I'm not necessarily suggesting you have to get it in order to communicate with me on every single thing, but I just asked on Twitter, how often should I do Eden runs? Every character cycle, like go around once, then do Eden, or, you know, every five runs, or every other run, and... I'll be honest, I wanted people to say, like, every other run. And most people seem to have said every other run. There was our seed, by the way. Oh, I'm so happy we can get rid of the the scissors this early. That is amazing. And we picked up an extra spirit heart on top of what we already had from Super Bandage. So that's pretty crazy. But anyway, um, people seem to really like watching Eden runs. I really like doing Eden runs. The more I play Rebirth, the more I almost feel like Eden is kind of like the default choice. The feel-good choice. You know, every run's a little bit different. It forces you to test, you know, different skills beyond just memorizing what works well with each individual character. I'm not saying I'm ever gonna enter a situation in which every single run I do is with Eden, but I really don't, I feel like Eden is not like, I, I weigh Eden more heavily than a lot of the other characters, I think, just for like the fun factor. So I'm not sure if I'm, I'm ever gonna do like, you know, 100% Eden runs or anything like that, and I'm not even sure if I'm gonna go as aggressive as doing Eden runs every other run. But I'm gonna try to do Eden runs more often, you know, there were like, months where I just randomed the entire time and forgot that Eden even existed. That was stupid. Eden's really fun. Um, we're gonna go back and get this extra Spirit Heart back here. I hesitate to, to come across too cocky here, and I mean that sincerely. But, considering we have Crystal Ball and we started with Super Bandage, this may already be on its way to being a one run, and sometimes you're gonna have that as Eden, sometimes you're not gonna have that as Eden. Sometimes you're going to end up in a situation, we, we, like we could have had the scissors and like mom's heels or something like that. Or we could have had sacred heart godhead, you know? That's what makes Eden so cool. And that's why I think Eden is like, I, don't, I hesitate to say this, but that's why I think almost like consistent Eden runs are like the ultimate test of skill in Isaac. Because if you do something consistently that has a lot of random chance involved with it, the only element that actually is consistent is you, so if you end up like cracking off like 50 Eden runs in a row, doubtlessly you've had some shitty ones thrown in there, so you know what? Kudos to you, mon frere and or mon sir, not mon chieux. You're a good Isaac player. So we're gonna be doing some more Eden runs, but for now I can stop, uh, you know, waxing philosophical about this bullshit uh, inside of here. Plenty of bombs. Crystal Ball, obviously one of the best items in the game. Uh, for spacebar purposes at least, basically the map and the compass rolled into one, combined with, uh, the ability to give you, like, a Book of Sin or a Book of Revelations, uh, style payout. I guess it just gives you a guaranteed payout from what the fortune teller does, right? This is gonna sound ridiculous. How is it that I just determined that? Is that actually what it does? It, it's like a portable slot, but it doesn't cost money, and it gives you a payout from the, uh, the fortune teller? That makes so much sense. Can it give you trinkets? I can't remember if, if Crystal Ball can actually give you trinkets. I maybe shouldn't have used so many bombs there, but I just wanted to speed up the whole, you know, execution process here, and we'll be heading down to the next floor for sure. Very, very good thus far. And we gotta start building up another another streak, both in terms of zaniness and in terms of our performance, because, geez louise, those lost runs are not taking a break, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Teleportation to our deal with the devil. Teleportation, no walking, don't give a fuck if I get a lump of coal. It, it's as the worst Papa Roach reference of all time. And that's, you know, we're in bad company there, so I feel bad about it. No, bad company is a different band, Northern Lion. They they sang that song that had their band name in it. Don't shoot, thank you. Lump of coal? Krampus' head? It's, I don't know if I'd say it's sad, but we've kind of gotten to that point where with Krampus' head, I almost want to take it just because I never take it and I feel bad for it. It's like, come on, I'm good. Come on, you remember we had some good times back in the pre-nerf era, and I'm just like, do I know you? <laughs> Who are you? You look like somebody I used to know, but, you know, half is good. Still great, though, you know? Just not good enough to replace something like Crystal Ball, which is stellar. Ah, this is interesting. So the D20 is an item that uh, people often want me to take. And you know what? We're in a relatively comfortable position this early on. I think I will take it. And it's not just a compromise. Um, we, we have Crystal Ball all the time. Oftentimes, by the time the D20 shows up, it's too late for me to justify using it. I'm like, oh, we're not going to get any more arcades or something like that. You know, it's too late in the game for it to be, uh, for it to be that stellar. So instead, I'm going to try to take it early here, and we're going to try to tailor our run to make it happen. 
How would you tailor a run? And then again, like, I, I haven't even seen that many breaking runs, to be honest with you. That was terrible play on my part. Um, but I think in theory, what we would like to do is spawn as many arcades as, ugh, as many arcades as possible. Have some extra HP, play the blood banks, reroll the pennies. Oh my god, this is just terrible for me. Like, bad play. Uh, reroll the pennies into things that are not pennies and are better than pennies, and then just kind of ball out of control. And I can really see that being useful uh, on the chest, you know, if we... I mean, we're not going to find an arcade on the chest, but if we found, like, a... I think mean, even a key beggar wouldn't make any sense. Even if we just found a, a secret room that had, like, nine cents in it, re-roll it, maybe you can get, like, four chests out of it, and then you can start to, you know, stack up some pretty crazy stuff there. So I'm actually not going to worry too much about the D20 for now. If I can use it, I'll use it. If I can't use it, I'm not going to stress out about it, because the D20 is, like, it's a feast or famine item, you know? You really want to use it, you want to save it and then use it in those situations, I think, at least, this is my theory, where there's uh, the maximum possible benefit from it, as opposed to just getting like a little bit of benefit every few rooms. We are going to go to our shop, though, we've got 15 cents. Inside of our shop we find, um, we find some stuff. And I don't want to go much further than that right now. I normally do like to pick up Hive Mind, what was that damage, come on now. I normally do like to pick up Hive Mind. Let's get a little dangerous here. Just a bunch of spiders. So that was a waste of two bombs, but I thought maybe we'd have a good reroll potential there. Um, but I don't know if I want to pick up Hive Mind because I want to make sure that I'm giving myself the best possible chance to spawn an arcade uh, two floors from now. Now, two floors is a long way away. You know, we could we could pretty easily get an extra four cents after we bought Hive Mind, but is Hive Mind really the item we want to go in hard on? Maybe we can get, you know, uh, 9 volt or something on the next floor. Okay, that actually worked. Very surprised. What I'm really hoping for here is a... Wow, thank you, Cuban Meat. What I'm really hoping for here is a DPS upgrade, because I think we're going to see it a lot on this fight against the, the Haunt, which is basically... <laughs> My damage is terrible. And I'm getting a little cocky. I've, I've lost like 3 or 4 Spirit Hearts at least on this floor. Uh, I'm not playing very well. Come on, shoot. Thank you. I'm not playing very well, and if we're gonna succeed without Crystal Ball and with D20 instead, I've gotta, I've gotta definitely nip that in the bud. And we got very lucky there to not get hit again. So start playing well fundamentally. Forget that you started this run being kind of overpowered, and instead just, um, you know, stick to good fundamentals, man. Good time to cross there. We got a little lucky. Probably got like another two attacks coming out of the hunt if I had to guess here. There we go. This should be it. Maybe just the one then. I can't believe he got me again. Alright, well we did get Magic Mush, that makes me feel a lot better about things, and then of course there's Krampus' head. We've slowed down a lot on this floor, but the Magic Mushroom pickup is extraordinary. Check for a secret room here. That was actually a really bold play. Curse of the Maze. Um, that was a really bold play, I'm glad it worked out. Could have easily gone squirrely. You know what? Let's give it a try. Come on. Give me at least one chest for five keys. Come on. Not a golden chest. Not a golden chest. Okay. I'm going to pick up the key. And I'm going to reroll the other four. Did it work? <laughs> I mean, I can see forever is really good. That's going to allow us to find the second secret room. Truth be told, that could have gone a lot worse. We traded three keys for like five bombs and uh, I can see forever pill. It's not a it's not a normal trade, but it doesn't seem that bad. I'm not gonna give him any more because you know he he hasn't earned it, quite frankly. Let's find our second secret room. There it is, right there. And it ended up giving us Demon's Tail. I'm not totally sure how I feel about that, but we might as well hold it for now, anyway. And we're not gonna buy anything from our shop. I'm sorry that we're not gonna pick up Hive Mind, but we have kind of other fish to fry right now. I'm feeling mixed about this run, but but overall pretty good, especially after that Magic Mush pickup. Maybe once I get the D20 uh, fully charged, we'll consider going back into that room. But for now, strikes me as a little, a little risky. I actually gritted my teeth as those shots came in. Don't tell my dentist. I was very nervous, though. I can't believe we managed to put ourselves in a situation where we dodged appropriately. Okay, you should be dead. You gotta be close, though. You gotta be close. There we go. It's just one hit. Okay. Still not quite one-shotting enemies. 
Magic Mush, of course, uh, plus 0 0.3 damage, and then multiply all that damage by 1.5, so... Certainly one of the best damage multipliers, or, or damage upgrades, absolutely, we could have picked up. And we're getting it all the time now. I'm almost, I feel bad, but I'm taking it for granted, honestly. It shows up so much. That I'm like, oh, there's our requisite magic mushroom pickup. And I gotta be honest, you know, in terms of items that we pick up seemingly almost every run, we, we're spoiled a little bit. We so often get fate, we so often get, uh... You know, Bob's brain, which not everybody loves, but I, I'm quite fond of. I think I'm just gonna pick up these keys rather than worrying about re-rolling them. Um, and we got, we very often pick up Infamy. And I kind of like it this way, because in Vanilla, my reputation was like, Oh, Northern Lion, he always gets Mom's Knife and Brimstone. I don't know how he does it. He always gets Mom's Knife and Brimstone. I don't get Mom's Knife and Brimstone that much in Rebirth. I'm happy with it being, you know, Magic Mushroom instead. I, I think Mom's Knife and Brimstone are better than Magic Mushroom, but Magic Mushroom's up there, man, and it's a little... leaves you a little bit less open to criticism for getting carried, because it, it kind of hides behind the scenes, you know? Balls of Steel, that's a great one, because I've been taking some seriously dumb damage. So there shouldn't be an arcade on this floor. There might be a random blood bank. Shouldn't be an arcade. I wonder if you can reroll live bombs. Oh, come on with that. I was like... I, I thought I was threading the needle there on the time, but whatever. Very bad play. I'll, I'll be straight with you, you know? I, I like to toot my own horn when I play well. I'm not playing well right now. Turnabout is fair play, right? We gotta we gotta be honest about it. This is not going fantastically. We've gotten a little bit carried by the the quality of the items that we've picked up so far and, and the quality of the items that we started with as well. There was a tinted rock back in that room, by the way. The the room with the uh, the spikes and the, the stationary turrets. They didn't shoot paper, but you know what I mean. So I, uh, I don't think that there's any means for us to pick up the, pick up the spirit hearts that were there, but I might be mistaken. This might seem ballsy, but I actually think that this is one of the most effective ways to actually take these guys out. Now it's better if you don't run into them at the same time. Just working the, working the cobwebs through. It's the first rebirth run of the day. Don't worry about it. We'll probably get Broomstone or Mom's Knife soon anyway. There we go. Uh... Not sure if I was hoping for Liberty Cap. One rerolls our whole run. I think I'll do it. Even though I've been talking about what to do with the D20. I think I'll do it and just see what we get. So it looks like we got Tech 2 plus Ipecac plus Juicy Sack. I, I like this better. I'm a little slower. Obviously, you know, we, we have to worry about hitting ourselves. But look at that damage. That damage is out of control. We don't want that. It actually is kind of absurd. Even ignoring the Ipecac aspect of it. The technology aspect of it is crazy. We might as well take Blue Candle. Um, I don't... We don't need anything else. We could get BOGO Bombs, but... I really... I, I don't value BOGO Bombs at 15 cents. Especially when we already have Ipecac, you know? I would assume that we'd have a pretty good chance to... Never have to use them. Now, admittedly, it's in our best interest to, to try to find the secret rooms with Ipecac, but I'll be honest with you, it's also going to be very annoying because our rate of fire with Ipecac is awful right now. Free key if I can land this one. Lucky me. And at this point, you know, if it wasn't a one run before, and we were kind of waffling back and forth on whether or not it was, uh, at this point, we got to be thinking that we're in a very good position now. Unless I completely screw myself somehow. So we've already been there, obviously. We have not been here. I hate this curse, man. We have incredible damage from Technology 2. Like, a really staggeringly great amount of damage from Technology 2 that you don't often see. On top of that, we've got Ipecac, one of the best, you know, one of the items in the game that can single-handedly win the run for you. I hesitate to call it one of the best, only because a lot of people disagree with me, but I genuinely do believe it's one of the best. And then we got one of the best space bar items in the game, especially from a damage-dealing potential as well, and we appear to have... Oh, Juicy Sack is what's spawning those. Okay, I'll take Experimental Treatment just for shits and giggles. And we got Breath of Life. I'm gonna try to, I mean, we don't have a reroll or anything like that. But we're doing so much damage that I kind of feel like, why wouldn't we at least try to, you know, fight Mega Satan on this run? If we end up not being able to do it, so be it, but, um, we'll, we'll pick up Breath of Life and put it back down because it's terrible, but... Maybe we'll get a D6 at some point and we can start, uh, 
you know, re-rolling the Angel Room items. I really like being able to get two items, or at least one item guaranteed out of every deal with the Angel, and then re-rolling the crap out of it. The odds of us getting a D6 are quite literally almost nil. And by almost nil, I mean probably lower than 1%, but, uh... Which is not technically almost nil, but you get the idea. Anyway, it has happened before. Hopefully it'll it'll happen again, but as of right now, there's, there's pretty much nothing that I can say that would make me feel bad about this run. Like, we're doing so, so much damage with technology, too. It's crazy. This never happens! <laughs> the vast majority- oh, that was dumb. The vast majority of the time you pick up technology, too, you're like, ugh, fine, I'll sacrifice my damage to be able to do, you know, infinite range, basically. But in this situation, we're doing crazy damage. I don't know what experimental treatment did for us, but it certainly didn't ruin our run, so I'm, I'm happy enough with it. I'm gonna keep this stars card for the potentiality of stealing an item from the boss rush, and I know that's uh, not something everybody's into. I know I'm a dirty dog, and I know I deserve to be punished, but uh, we can handle that later. Let's see what we find uh, in what I assume is gonna be the secret room here. No? Okay. Found our shop. More than enough money to make good use of that. Still hoping for a blood bank, even though we've kind of like reworked our run, so that's not a major focus anymore. Is this the best reroll I've ever had on a run? It it may well be, to be honest with you. Look at the speed. It's almost like brimstone worthy. We must have rerolled into a shitload of, of high damage upgrades. Especially considering that Tech 2 is already gonna lower the damage that you get by 35 fr freaking percent. I mean, you don't maybe want to measure the quality of the run by the speed at which you kill one of the lowest HP bosses, but Jesus Christ. We basically just shit on the hollow. Please. Let me into the item room quickly so we have a chance at boss rush. God dang it! I don't want to skip the item room, you know what? Bloody Lust is a huge pickup for us as well. Now if we actually do find an arcade, I know I said I would save that for boss rush, but I really wanted to just figure out where this room was. You're tempting, but not too tempting. Uh, and no arcade! I was really hoping there would be an arcade on the back half of this, so that I would be able to, um get an IV bag, because that would just up our damage that much more, but this is already ridiculous, so we'll we'll try to keep our money, and we'll uh, head down to the next floor about a minute and a half slower than I'd like to be, and that might seem like not that much time, but that's, that's a lot of time. That being said, we're doing so much damage, we may have the capabilities of actually getting through uh, the rooms in a, a, a timely fashion. That, that, you know, we can we can make up 90 seconds over two floors if we're doing a crazy amount of damage, which we are, basically. Uh, the luck downgrade is not nice, but we're we're making good time now. I really thought we'd get, like, a teleportation to a, uh, an angel room there. Don't even need to land the Ipecac shots to make this work. And you know what? Demon's Tail's been working out just fine. Maybe it's lowering our rate of, like, a lot of consumables dropping. Um, including, like, red hearts, but what do we need red hearts for if, like, every eight rooms we get a, a demon heart? That's not the actual way that it pays out, by the way. Don't don't think that every eight rooms you're guaranteed a demon heart, I think. But, um, you know, functionally, it's feeling kind of similar to that. Okay, no tinted rocks. Not that I'm that concerned about it. Polycephalus, this is this will be a good test. I bet we can kill Polycephalus in, uh, like, before he goes down again, and we totally did. And again, it's not even a result of the Ipecac shots. I know I'm <laughs> kind of harping on this a little bit, and you're probably like, yeah, we get it, you're doing a lot of damage, shut up. For real, though, as far as rerolls go, that's some of the craziest, like, good luck I've ever seen on, on the, uh, in that department. And I've got to be a little bit smarter. I'm hitting myself a lot in situations where there's basically no excuse. You know, you got to remember that Ipecac hits enemies and explodes. That's just Ipecac 101, basically. Item room gives us Revenge Fly, which is awesome. I think it is worth taking a second here to just see if we can get some teleportation cards. I kicked that bomb. You might not be able to follow it. I kicked it all the way around. I can't dribble like that in real life when I want to. Two of hearts, I guess. Well, you know, I decided to leave because I was getting frustrated with the this lack of speed with which we were going through that room. Hopefully shop and boss room end up being close together here. We're at about 17 minutes. Not where I want to be time-wise. Justice is a good card. Temperance is a great card. The question is, where are we going to use Temperance? And I think the answer is, uh, before the womb. And that's pretty much all I got. Oh, come on. We're lucky that we got away from that. We're going to end up being about a minute shy, so we only made 30 seconds up on this floor. 
Black Candle's awesome. Uh, I think we'll just leave apart from that. Yeah, we're, we only made up about 30 seconds on this floor, maybe, uh, maybe even less. But it's a start. At least we didn't lose more time. I really, really would like to get IV bag. We do have another angel room. We're actually going to be even a little slower than that. Hermit. Hermit is a teleportation card, though. Okay. We'll take the body. We're almost done with the angel fight already. And there we go. So the Mega Satan fight can indeed happen now. I know that we can use the Temperance card effectively. I guess we gotta try, right? Let's pop it down right now. You have no idea how much uh, how much it pained me to do that. And I'm not doing this to get the damage bonus for this floor. I'm doing this to get IV bag for future floors. Child's Heart is maybe, I guess, what we'd want right now. There is a Two of Hearts card, which we should honestly go back and use. Okay, so I'm saying goodbye to Boss Rush again. You will never know how much it pained me to have to do that. I'm sorry, Boss Rush, but the IV bag is better. The IV bag is better, if we can get it. If we get the blood bag, I'll be disappointed, but hey, uh, you know, how disappointed can you be by some free HP that, that just does good stuff for you? There was, speaking of free HP, there was a red heart back there, but I chose to just buy from the shop instead. Maybe that makes me an idiot, but... It did, it's an idiot who doesn't have to backtrack, and there's our IV bag, there's our hermit card. It's still a theoretical possibility that we could get to our boss rush. We're gonna have to be crazy fast, though. Um, and in order to be crazy fast, let's hammer the shit out of this. So the damage might be worth something in the long run here. We got, uh, <laughs> less than 100 seconds. But our damage from Technology 2 is gonna be dumb. It's gonna be crazy. And we should probably avoid hitting ourselves. That's that's very dangerous. Chubb is not quite dead. We're gonna avoid consumables because it just slows us down by a couple seconds. You might think I'm mad that we're like discovering all these dead ends, but actually I'm very happy to be discovering dead ends. Because it means it, it eliminates like one possible like wild goose chase we could be on, you know? In fact, just take the easy way out there. I accidentally blew up the door. It might be faster or even, you know, better for us to just blow our way out of all these rooms. And I know that sounds hilarious, but credit card. We gotta stick with the Hermit for now. I understand the value of credit card, don't get me wrong, but... I'm starting... Oh, come on, fly. I'm starting to think this is not looking too good. We got like 30 seconds here. With which to make it. Haven't even found our item room yet. I don't care if you hit me. Go ahead. See if I care. The good news is, I'm assuming we can get through uh, Mom extremely quickly. Item room. What are we at? Oh, it's so unlikely, and I'm killing myself in the process here. I can't believe how much damage I'm doing to myself in the pursuit of this bullshit. Ah, uh, we can't do it. There's only 10 seconds left. Alright, let's 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 stop killing ourselves here. Let's go back. One of these has to be like a... One of these has to be a library or something, right? Oh no, there was an arcade up there, I get it. Alright, so it might seem like I just threw the run there trying to make it happen, but I, I don't believe that. Probably two keys is a good trade there. Um, it, it's just gonna take us a little while to make up for it. So we, we learned our lesson. We still got, uh, we still got IV bag. And I still think that that was well worth it. We'll go to our item room now. Slow it down. We got very close to boss rush. It didn't come true, shit happened. So chocolate milk allows me to more accurately control our Ipecac shots, which is actually going to be incredible. Health down is not really what I was looking for there, as you might expect. But yeah, now I can actually choose not to fire Ipecac, which is really going to help us out. Chocolate Milk is actually one of my favorite items in the game. Without a doubt. We couldn't have been more than like four or five rooms away. That sucks. Anyway, this is going to be an awesome room for us. Get some of our HP back. I want that HP back not just because it's HP, but also because um, we can use it for the IV bag on the next floor. Anything? Anything at all? A little uh, disappointed with this so far. A lot of hosts, that's for sure. And we still got a few left here. I'm blowing them all up because I want the demon hearts, but I guess you know we'd want demon's tail to make that happen. We got a hermit, hermit. Sun. I'm just going to use the Sun card to give us our HP right now. We were seriously like three rooms away. That's... It's, it is what it is. Let's just be honest about it. Alright. What card do we want to take with us? We got Fool, we got Hermit, we got uh, this one. 
Chariot. Chariot's pretty good. We're going to use that on this floor. To try to get uh, some better items out of this. Maybe a Demon Judgment? No Demon Judgment. I still think it's worth it to try to Chariot this. Because if we can get the Blood Bag, I would love to get my HP back from that HP down pill we got earlier. There is a Tinted Rock in here too. At the very least, we should probably uh, use our donation machine. I understand that we have another donation machine that we could draw from as well, but or draw too. This run should be set right now. Like, okay, we, we've tapped it out. Eh, it took like 20 cents, that's pretty good. Uh, this run should be set, if not because of the incredible technology shots, then because of the incredible Ipecac shots, and if not because of either of those, because of the potential synergies that we can get as a result of this. Uh, there's no point in us taking a bomb or a key, as far as I'm concerned. We're, we're pretty much set for both. So I'll try to... Just make sure we're not hitting ourselves with Ipecac so much. That's why I lost so much HP. And it, You know what? It was a terrible decision. I should not have gone nearly as hard on that boss rush as I did. But if we'd made it, who knows, man? Imagine if we'd gotten, like, Spoonbender or something like that. Everyone would be saying, thank God NL made it. That's a great item. We're just gonna blow this up. I mean, I don't really want Child's Heart that much, but it, it could be helpful for us considering we're going to be using the IV bag. So let's see how quickly we can kill Mom here. That'll be a good indication of, uh, you know, how our run's going to go for us in the future. And it's looking amazing right now. Yeah, very easy. We even got a Spirit Heart back. We'll take the Polaroid down to the next floor. And all right, let's do it. Can't see where we're going. Oh, we can because we bought the compass. No map, though. All right, one, two, three, four, five. That's not going to give us the maximum damage boost, but it'll, uh, it'll give us a lot. Don't really want safety cap, no tinted rocks. We'll try to blow up the, the special rocks, like the polyps. It's a risk, but it's not a, a huge one. There you go. I think that's our maximum damage boost now. And you can't use permanent Polaroid invincibility to play the IV bag more. I know what's going to come up in the comments because it always comes up in the comments. You can't use permanent Polaroid invincibility to play IV bag. When you use permanent or when you uh, use the IV bag, it will take HP away from you. But you're invincible. No, it you don't understand. It'll take HP away from you. But you have the aura op no, you it takes it takes the HP away. You know how many times I've done it? I'm not going to do it right now, but it'll take the spirit heart away from us. I promise you that. I've done it enough times to know. Hoping for some red hearts, and we got some red hearts. I am picking up kind of half hearts indiscriminately. Because I'm relatively convinced we'll be able to get back to full HP anyway. And I don't think we're going to lose our spirit hearts. And that pickup is just crazy. Cricket's head has also been showing up on nearly every run. I'm not going to complain about it. As, as down as it might have seemed like things got when we, uh... Well, when I... I'll take responsibility for that. When I, uh... Lost like eight spirit hearts trying to get the boss rush quickly. It was a calculated gamble. It didn't work out. But um, we're, this is still like one of the best rerolls for sure. Oh my god. One of the best rerolls I've ever had on a run. Like one of the best dice room. Dice rooms? Yeah, I got confused with the pluralization there. But for real, it, it's actually like an incredible payout. The fact that we got this high damage tech 2 plus Ipecac. And then later on the run, getting these items that make tech 2 and Ipecac better. You know, the, the chocolate milk pickup. Um, well, the key piece so we can actually fight Mega Satan and we don't have to hold Dad's key to make it happen. Can occasionally get HP upgrades there, so I figured it was worth a shot. I will trade two Spirit Arts coming in here. You know, it didn't work out for us, but that's okay. Our HP did something weird there. Did you see that? When we walked out, we lost half a Spirit Heart and half of a Red Heart. What's up with that? I don't know. You tell me. Maybe it's just a weird, um, like, graphical thing. Maybe we've got some item that balances the HP we lose. I, I don't think so. I have no idea, to be honest with you. All right. Demon Judgment is, he's my boy. But he's got to give me HP. Or, like, he doesn't have to give me HP, but we have to be able to get HP back. Is that, like, a full health? Pheromones. All right, we'll be back for you. Rest assured. That, I walked on some creep. God damn it. I'm a little little concerned now. That's another pheromones pill. Watch out for this creep, man. It's another half heart. That actually gives us some huge plays on this demon judgment. 
Now this is gonna make it impossible for us to use rage in the future, so I'm a little concerned. You gave us temperance. Which I'm just gonna blow up. Okay, I'm I'm relatively pleased with that, to be honest with you. Trying to find like a black market crawl space if there's anything in these. Probably not, but it's worth a shot, I think. And we're gonna be fighting like Mr. Fred. So, you know, we might wanna see what we get on our deal with the angel before we get like too aggressive about um playing this demon judgment. Who knows? Took some damage already. Uh, we're gonna play this guy until we get pretty deep. We have Luckfoot now, so I'm hoping that we can pick up some great stuff. Chaos card. I mean, it does beat the Pheromones pill, there's no question about that. Stars card, not that useful for us. Come on, just some more Spirit Hearts is fine. Lucky Rock, not that good. Matchstick, not that good. Tarot card. Hanged Man, not that good. Wheel of Fortune, actually pretty good. Put the Wheel of Fortune card down here and just get like double the shit out of this. I know there's better uses for that card later, but I found pills, not very good. Onsus, at least shows us where the secret room is. So we probably want to take the Chaos card out of here, obviously. You have already exploded, but you gave us some uh, some red hearts. So I'm, I'm appreciative of that. Pheromones, what's the other one? I found pills again? Yeah, we'll just use that to get it off the situation here. We'll take our Chaos card with us, and then we'll play this guy some more. And he's paid out, but he gave us some red hearts, so I'm not going to take that half red heart yet. Let's just see what we've got in here. I hope Demon Judgment does not count as uh, red heart damage for deals with the devil. Deals with the angel. It doesn't sound like he did, because there's a, a deal right here. Just an eternal heart. Well, two eternal hearts, but that's good. And then, I don't think we actually get anything, but it might as well, you know, we might as well do it, because it's going to take a second. We got a key. <laughs> you know what? I'm not sure how I feel about this demon judgment right now. I'm kind of thinking that maybe we should just ignore it. But I, you know me, I can't do it. I gotta try to play it until it pays out. Two more keys, huh? I gotta keep it up, and it, it pains me because I know that I'm enhancing my risk of dying by an enormous degree by doing this, and I feel like an idiot, but I gotta give Demon Judgment the chance. Come on, dog. Come on. Okay, so he did give us Contract from Below, which is awesome. In the end, did that work out? It's debatable. I think most people would probably uh, just rather have the guaranteed win than do that. But here we are, right? Just trying to scrounge up whatever other HP we might be able to. I realize this will ruin some permanent Polaroid invincibility, but that's okay. And again, we have a commitment to, uh, you know, use IV bag once. If we could just get, like, Bloody Penny, life would be too easy. Just make our life, uh, it would be boring. I like mixing it up here a little bit. There's another half heart, that's good. So we can uh, use this once. See if there's a demon judgment in here. I was gonna say, of course there'll be a demon judgment in here. But there wasn't. My cynicism for once did not prevail. I, I really can't envision a world in which we want to play this blood bank. So let's just blow it up and maybe we'll get some red hearts out of it. I recognize that we missed there. Um, before we use IV bag, or before we take that eternal heart, we're gonna want to max out IV bag. No question. So, I mean, it's not like we actually even need the damage bonus. I'm mostly just doing it for absurdity's sake. But absurdity is a very powerful motivator for me. We should be getting more payouts. I think we should be getting more payouts because we got Luckfoot. But maybe that's just me. Maybe I don't understand the mechanics fully. That's I found pills for like the seventh time here in two floors. Getting a little low on cash, we'll play all the way because there's no no reason really not to. And of course we're gonna pick up too much cash. Finally got a lot of extra red hearts there actually. So we'll go, oh, one, two, three, and I think that's been enough plays that we can now take this. So now that we've done that, actually I'm gonna completely go back on my earlier promise. That thing did explode, thankfully. We're gonna go back on our earlier promise and just blow these guys up and get a move on. All right, is it good, is it bad? I don't know, we'll find out. Not worried too much about the curse room, considering that, um, 
you know, we're 0% of the way to becoming Guppy. Mostly very excited by the prospect that Contract from Below can give us uh, double chests. Which on the chest itself is obviously just incredible. Yeah, definitely want both of those. What do you think, down? I think it's up, but I'm going to go down first just because it's closer. Mm, we might be right now that I look at the architecture of the floor a little bit. Well, we got teleported to a deal with the angel, which at this point is just kind of comical, but we'll see if we can get some spirit hearts. And, you know, we'll get a consumable for finishing this, so why not? Very easy fight, and then I could just go up to the cathedral right now. Why wouldn't I do that? If this takes me down to Shoal, I'm gonna be pissed, but it's taking me up to the cathedral, so it doesn't matter. Alright, we'll head down. I'm... Predominantly saving these Ipecac shots for uh, for uh, bosses, but when we need them, we can use them. So there's two plays there. We actually can't pick up those Spirit Hearts. Disappointing, it's because our Red Hearts are so high. Should have thought about that, but it's not that big of a deal, hopefully. It shouldn't be, at least. There's another play right there. Every floor where we can actually take advantage of... Uh, IV bag and get the damage bonus from it is a floor that's gone well in my eyes. You know, it, it wouldn't take very much for us to not be able to actually make use of it, so... Uh, the fact that we've been able to make such great use of it is actually awesome. I think it's time to get rid of Child's Heart now that we have Curved Horn. Uh, you know, this, if, if nothing else, this definitely indicates how much I respect damage above all other attributes, as long as HP isn't a huge issue. Um, we need Red Hearts, but... Anytime we have the opportunity to pick up some more damage, I'm, I'm an easy man to convince. Mr. Boom. Why not, right? We'll take Mr. Boom. Or Mr. Mega, sorry. We cannot take advantage of that, of course. And this is definitely the right way to go. I would, I would give both of my left nuts for a uh, spoon bender pickup. It would be so fun. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, we got... I'm not going to use these. I'm going to use this on the on the next floor. Even though we do have a Chaos card. I really thought we'd be able to cheese the shit out of Isaac and get him killed before he could even uh, move away. It's a good sign, though, that this is how much damage we're doing, and we still have, you know, the four items that are coming to us on the chest to help out. So, th I mean, it's a pretty much guaranteed one run unless something goes terribly wrong. But come on, cool synergies would go a long way towards making me feel even better. Infestation 2 is... Oh, that scared the shit out of me for a second. Infestation 2 is crazy good. 10 extra bombs is kind of like who cares. Spider butts kind of like who cares. But we're going to explore the entire floor. Probably should have killed uh, Gluttony last. But what's done is done. Tease him out a little bit. There we go. Uh, like we're de We definitely want to kill Blue Baby. Because if we don't, we won't be able to. Because as soon as you beat Mega Satan, the fight's over. Actually, we should Chaos card Mega Satan now that I, I... I totally forgot that we even had the keys until the door opened up. And I was like, what's going on? Very good sign that double adversaries didn't even have a chance to fire. Now, come on, just give me some GD chests. That's all we need to make this run, like, get to the next level. There we go. At least one. So that's uh, Pisces, I think. Did I actually get it right for once? Pisces. Tears up plus knockback. It's not that good, but it's something. It's not that good for us, I should say, but it's something. Nothing there. Nothing there. Well, I mean, we got bombs, but that's pretty much nothing. That's the new nothing. Come on, contract friend below. I didn't pick you up to give me bombs. Golden keys. I really doubt we're going to end up needing them, but so be it. Okay. He is already dead. Look, that, that might seem like it's us being incredible, but that's actually just Infestation 2. The effects of Infestation 2 can't really be overstated in a situation like this. It's incredible the kinds of things that item will allow us to do. We're not going to fight Mega Satan yet. I want to get everything out of this floor that we can get. Cartridge. High Priestess. High Priestess is good enough to use, like, on this room. I don't even know if that sped things up, to be honest. You might have slowed us down a little bit. Now, I'm looking for secret rooms in the process here. Because I really want a key beggar. I mean, 
We already have golden keys, I feel bad, but in this rare case, Master of Unlocking is just straight up terrible. Lard is a weird pickup, it only gives us one red heart, or it might even only give us a half red heart now that I think about it. I kind of like the idea of running like, Yamaheart, and then using all of the Yamaheart charges to, to fuel IV bag. I also, the other reason I don't want to take Lard is, that was almost dumb, is because, um, it's, uh, it's gonna give us less room for Spirit Art capacity, which is, I mean, maybe not risky, but it's worth paying attention to, I think. We might have already reached the, the highest damage potential on this floor. Not totally sure. Red Hearts? Does this guy give Red Hearts when he dies? It would make sense. Nothing. I mean, I would have preferred he gave anything, but... Secret Room? No, that Mega Satan. Secret Room? No. Probably not. It's hard to tell because our shots are so big whether or not we're hitting or missing, but... Two more keys. We'll use IV bag before the end. I guess we might take Spider Butt into the boss fight. It's the best space bar item we've got at our disposal right now. Key bagger, come on. Come on, battery. That's all right. It's still been a very fun run. This is one I'm gonna have fond memories of. Don't think it really mattered who we killed last there. Are we gonna be able to beat Mega Satan? I mean... 100% yes, if I didn't use IV Bag to pick up some extra damage. With using IV Bag to pick up some extra damage, probably still like 95% yes. Got a decent fly army coming in here as well, alright. Well, we're not going to be able to get one more charge on our dang yum heart. We got three spirit arts though, a little bit of permanent Polaroid invincibility. Do we, I, there's no reason really to take lard. We do want the Chaos card. So we'll use IV Bag twice and I guess take Spider Butt in. We don't have Nun's Habit or anything. Good run. No matter what happens here, good run. So I think what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm not going to use the Chaos card right off the bat because we're going to have all these spiders crash into Mega Satan. And I think it's going to make it pretty quick for him to get down to the next section. And once he gets down to the next uh, section... That's when we use our Chaos card, and, you know, theoretically we should win the fight basically instantly. I did take a little bit of uh, damage there. Not a huge surprise, I think. That was very satisfying. That was like digital bubble wrap right there. Come on, you gotta be like, basically, okay, we gotta kill the angel statues. This is gonna probably set the record for most angel statues we've ever killed over the course of one uh, rebirth run. You gotta be dead, man. Oh, shit. I might actually die on this run. Okay, we're going to the second section. Get ready. Get ready. We got him. <laughs> okay. That was a fun one. A little bit nerve-wracking at the end. I hope you guys had a fun time on that one. I did. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.